It was a Tell major broke me out. So the song's called Falling. I've I wrote it back in 2017. I workshopped the entire thing because I didn't know what I was doing, but it was the first time I really believed in a song that I wrote, and I was like, wait, this could be something. Like, what do I do with it? And everybody's like, just keep going, keep going. So I'm like, okay. So this song is uh, a song that I wrote uh, called Falling, and it's, Woo! <laughs> it's about um, convincing yourself that, you know, after pretty much like every heartbreak, that you can get back up and decide that you would like to call home again. Um, and I got to a place, it was probably about halfway, and um, uh, halfway of me working on it, but I didn't know. I thought I was done. I was like, I'm going into this workshop, this song is done, I don't know what else I could do. We did it. And I go in and I play it, and they go, um, so your, your chorus doesn't quite match the rest of the song, and I don't mm. think it's saying what you want it to say. And you're like, no! Yeah, I wanted, I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. I thought I was going to cry. Like, it was just, I was, I put my heart and soul into this thing. Right. It was the first time I'd ever really believed in one of my songs like that. So, I, they told me, um, Rob Seals, who is the owner of the songwriting school, and, and she runs it, and, and he's, he's too, yeah, he's best. one of the most wonderful people. He's like, just take some time, go back. Um, you know, give yourself some space, figure it out, and I did none of those things. I did not give myself any space. I did not give myself grace or time. I got in my car on my drive home, and I was like, I'm going to figure this out. And within that week, I wrote eight different choruses. Wow. Hated all of them. Walked in and was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I have no idea what I'm going to do. And so the workshop, um, the room ended up picking the lines that they liked best and then I kind of made that decision basically right there but that was the chorus and I'm never working on this song again. <laughs> Seriously. You're like, I'm never going into yeah. surgery on this ever yeah. again. I'm like, it's done. Like, well, it's exhausting. Yeah. And it's also exhausting kind of like as much as you love creative mm -hmm. choices to be judged by, yeah. we'll call it that, yep. it's exhausting to hear because it's such a tender thing to write something vulnerable. Right. And when that gets judged, it's like the opposite of the strength of the vulnerability. So right. it is, you know, it comes back to that, it, you know, yep. that instinct. Just like, you know, this is what it should be. This mm -hmm. is why I think it should Yeah, be. I really do. I really do love this song, but I love it because of what it taught me the most. Um, I love the message. And actually, ironically enough, it was a love song and I was 100% single at the time. So I still am. But anyway, <laughs> different story, different place. Let's start there. So, um, this song is called Falling. If you've ever seen me perform, you've probably seen me perform this one. Um, so if you know it, and I know there are a handful of you here that do, please sing along because it makes it so much more fun. So, it's been real fun. Let's have some. Yeah. Um, I think something that, a skill that I've, I've gained and, and something that I'm really proud of is the willingness to go to the other extreme. Right. To have, what, to have something that's like kind of not working and to go to a completely extreme different place obviously with a lot more care and respect for time and space and letting things sit and processing than I did then but um, I get to go to the other side and I end up finding something in between and so I'm okay with rewriting I'm okay with starting over I'm okay with putting it up on the drawing board and you know getting out a new piece of paper and trying again and you know, pulling what works and keeping what does and yeah. keeping out what doesn't. I, I just, I really know that it's all in service of what's best for the song. And now I know, and in producing it too, I've also had to come to a place where I'm okay with my own instinct being what I like, despite what other people, what feedback other people give me. I'll try them out um, just to see. Right. But ultimately, it's what I want. It's what I think is going to start the song best. It's yeah. what I think is going to bring out the message more. You know the best. This next song, this last song, um, is one of my favorites to perform. It's an original of mine. It's called Falling. Some of you guys, I know you know it, so you can't hide from me. Just kidding. Woo! I mean, you can, but I would love it if you would sing with me. Woo! -hoo! Um, <laughs> this song is. Um, I just, it's called Falling, I think I said that already, but I'm, I'm falling in love with you guys and I hope you're falling in love with me and uh, let's celebrate together this glorious day at Carnival Encino.
Cat. 